Alright guys, hello everyone, this is TRG and I'm here to play uh, Bound by Flame. I know that already I know that this game is already uh, an old game but this one is really good. Uh it was the same it was the same in Lord of the Fallen if you if you know that. So without further ado, let's play. The main scene then Alright. is dying well I'm happy to see that my talents as a doctor are finally being recognized there's no doubt an explosion would cure him of all his ills forever but I was actually thinking about your connections with the red scribes if you could speak to them it would save me having the prince's death on my conscience I wouldn't exactly call myself a friend of theirs but yeah I can always give it a try hmm So is the prince doing any better? He is still in a coma. He doesn't seem much better, no. I'm going to talk with the Red Scribes, Doctor. He might know of a cure. Thank you. Let's change the subject. I have a few questions I need to ask you. Elves are pretty rare. I haven't had the chance to talk to many. Can you tell me more about your people? We are born in the trees, eat only seeds, and we spend all the live long day singing. You get the feeling you're fucking with me. Perish the thought. Well, it's just that we aren't that different from you humans, despite what one hears. Our civilization is obviously a bit older, so we have had the time to learn from our mistakes. Oh, uh -huh. we don't really live in the same rhythm as you do. We move a little slower, and most of us are prone to having at least some respect for the past. This is the reason why we never destroy anything. That we prefer to build on top of things. I've heard that you are immortal. That joke has lived for 15 generations. I will never get tired of it. No, we're not immortal. We live long lives, though. Much longer than you. We are resistant to poisons, rotten food, and toxic body odor, apparently. Unfortunately, these things do not make us immortal. Don't elves ever make more? That's an impression we like to give other people. The fact is, we do go to war, just never against each other. Oh, oh. You must understand that, given our long lifetimes, battles are fairly futile. This may well be what has motivated the choices of our king concerning the Ice Lords. But we certainly know how to fight, and you'll see proof of that soon enough. So it's the prince who gives the orders. The word orders may not be the best one. We do not submit nor obey easily. Our kings are a reference, wise men who can point out the way. They tend to guide us rather than give us orders. But to answer your question, it is his father, the king, who is the leader of our people. All right. Who is the elf in the healing house? Is he really your prince? He is Prince Arundel, the son of our king and heir to the elven crown. Therefore, yes, he is our king. How the hell did he end up here? Prince Arundel led a detachment of the Elven army sent to harass the Deadwalkers. And when he reached Bastion, he fell into an ambush. I got wind of this trap, but by the time I arrived, it was too late. All right. When I caught up to the prince, he was already wounded, and most of his soldiers were dead. Those who survived covered our retreat. To here? Yes. The route to Carolthas was too dangerous. I knew about this village and felt that it would be secure for at least a little while. As soon as he gets better, we shall leave for Carolthas. The remainder of the human and elven armies are gathering there. That is where the final stage of the war will be played out. You seem different from the other elves I've met. Where are you from? Really, I seem different. And yet I have such pointy ears. 
And if you really mm -hmm. want to know, I actually come from one of the most ancient and noble houses that exists. I'm even linked to the royal family. But I can assure you that I'm sufficiently far down the line of succession to be in no danger of being crowned. And my reputation is no help either. As far as bad reputations go, every mercenary has got one, so we're used to it. Let's just say that I got into enough trouble to eventually be considered a traitor to my people. When I got involved in the war, I disagreed with decisions made by the king. He thought that this war, like so many others, would not last. That the conquests won by the Ice Lords would melt away like all the human victories before them had. But I thought differently. Right from the start of hostilities, I began to requisition certain resources I felt necessary for those doing the fighting. More food, more weapons, better armor. Oh. When my people discovered what I'd done, I was declared an outlaw, and many saw me as a thief, which, in a manner of speaking, I guess I was. You refused to obey the orders of your king, and you stole resources. No wonder they outlawed your ass. Nonetheless, I was right. The Deadwalker army is a threat to us all, and not only the humans. If we had entered the war at the start, joining with the humans, we would have had a chance of defeating them. Today, we might already be too late. The human armies were decimated, and Virtue is in ruins. So perhaps they consider me a traitor, but my conscience is clear. It is my people who should be ashamed. Do you know these swamps? I've been in this area long enough to have explored a fair amount of it, actually. The region is rather inhospitable, which I suppose is a good thing under the present circumstances. A good thing? You're out of your mind. These swamps are a labyrinth. The Deadwalker scouts will never be autonomous enough to find their way to the village by themselves. Mm -hmm. That means we should be fairly safe for the moment. At least until a general or an ice lord comes to town. Except that recently, there has been a change in these swamplands. And I must admit that I no longer feel safe at all. What do you mean? Something is affecting the swamplands, corrupting the vegetation and the animals. And I have no idea what it is. But anything that grows or lives here could become a threat. So I strongly recommend that you watch where you put your feet. All right. Let's change the subject. I'll leave you here. Do you have any idea how to wake the Elf Prince up? Unfortunately, I don't. I think I've tried just about every remedy I know, but nothing works. He looks pretty solid. Sleep will bring his strength back, and he may end up waking on his own. Let's hope so. But to be honest, I'm worried about his condition. I'm not going to sit here and do nothing while we wait to see if he's going to wake up or not. There has to be something we can do. Well, there is a formula I haven't tried yet because it's very complex, and I'm missing a key ingredient. Don't ask me to go berry picking. We have better things to do. Don't worry about it, Vulcan. I'll take care of it. The good doctor can make me a list, and I'll bring back what he needs. All right. Don't take too long doing it. I may need your help. I'll be going now. Greetings, mercenary. What can I do for you? I have some questions I'd like to ask you. Do you have any idea about what's happening to me? I'm afraid I may not be able to help you. Your condition is more due to magic than medicine. Your symptoms remind me of certain mental illnesses, where the subject has the impression he hears voices in his head. And do these nutcases throw fire and have eyes that burn from within too? You'd be surprised at what they can do. But obviously you're not like them. That being the case, if you study them, you might find some answers. In particular, I'm thinking of the fact that most of these poor madmen end up giving free reign to the darkest side of their personalities. Make sure that doesn't happen to you. All right. Can I have a look at your stock?
if it's surely not a side quest. Side quest is supposed to be like that, the number two and one. Mr. Vulcan, what brings you here? The captain wants me to help your village. You got a job I can do? With our shortages of food and fighting men, our worn-out equipment and the growing lines at the healing house, I cannot deny our village is sorely in need of help. Sadly, I fear that these are not the sort of problems you are used to dealing with, unless I'm much mistaken. Maybe I'll surprise you. So what's the problem with the healing house? Quite simply, Mirana cannot keep up. She spends every waking minute giving out supplies to the refugees and refuses to admit that she cannot help everyone. Oh. She thinks she's fooling me. I have heard rumors that her food stock is running low. Unsurprisingly, the crowds outside are becoming restless. I believe they wish to continue handing out our food reserves as though they were unlimited. This is not the case, and thus, it is not an option. So, you want someone to put her down? Why, I never suggested any such thing. I just wish she would see reason, for all our sakes. All right. But I have asked nothing of you. I was merely answering your question. Your guards... How can I put this? At first, I thought they were disobeying orders. Now I think maybe they don't even understand them. If you're stupid and incompetent, you should be digging turnips, not taking care of security. You're beginning to worry me. Is it really that bad? Are you kidding me? The state of their weapons is enough to make you cry. Maybe they'd be good for splitting logs. Personally, I'm not capable of judging the aptitude of our sentries, but their poor results speak for themselves. Doubtless, you should share your observations with Mason, the Chief of the Watch. I should warn you, however, that he is of a somewhat stubborn nature. Wouldn't be the first I've seen. I need the reports about this beast that attacked the villagers. I fear I am unable to be of help. I am still not entirely convinced that it even exists. All I know uh -huh. is that several villagers have vanished. One villager is at present in the doctor's care, following a supposed encounter with the said beast. These swamps are crawling with dangers. There is nothing to suggest anything out of the ordinary. The refugees are always inventing horror stories in an attempt to force us to open our gates and let them inside. It might be worth checking it out. You said you lost one of your patrols, right? That is so. You should speak with Randvol. He was most anxious to go out and hunt the beast down, but we needed him here. Now that we have more able bodies to guard our gates, I imagine he would be keen to pick up the scent once more. All right. We'll talk again later. So I need, oh my god. I mess up.
I mess up so badly. So I really need the the thing. It was a, indeed a quest here. A side quest. Greetings, mercenary. What can I do for you? I'll be going now. Vulcan, you must help me. The prince is dying. All right. Well, I'm happy to see that my talents as a doctor are finally being recognized. Mm -hmm. I have a few questions. Well, oh. okay, we already read that thing. Then I'm going to... Where is the side press here? This one. Side press a cure for the prince. Do you have a... What do you... It seems they can be found along the road we took to get here. And apparently, they only come out at night. I'll get you some. I'll be going now. Okay, I need to sleep. Oh. Hmm. Mister. All right. Talking. Sybil, can I talk to you? Yes. I'd like... What? Mercenary. Can I do something? No, thank you. I... According to the villagers... I have heard about it, yes. And although I don't have any concrete information about the creature, there are some things that corroborate what they say. Even though we aren't very good at magic, we still feel it. And since we came to the swamp, we have all felt a... The problem is that the source seems distorted, corrupted. I hope all right. for our sake you're right about that. We are very certain of it. But this magic could very well have transformed one or more creatures in the swamp making them more aggressive. So you're telling me the thing is magic and corrupt? 
All right. Where are we going now? This one is corrupted. Oh my god. Let's go and fight. The order of the Freeborn Blade. The mercenaries' powers are both astonishing and fascinating. The knight would like to duel with them. Ah, all right. Sure. The knight is honored. Wait for me here, Sybil. Let's go and fight this guy. With traps. It hopes that is Edward. Oh, you can count. Oh. Oh no! Alright. Oh no! <laughs> I got smacked. Alright. Oh no. All right. The knight has never before battled an adversary with such power, and he believes that he could be that which is needed to change the course of this war. You fight pretty good yourself. Where did you learn your moves? I can't believe you learned to fight like that in this backwater. The knight has traveled far and fought many battles. He has only lived in this village. All right. What are you doing in the middle of these swamps when you can be... The knight has fought a great many battles. I have to go. I'm... Before his adversary rush, he wishes to know if... I'm not... He has thought long on it and wish... Well, All right. Great. Well... Guardian, thanks. you anything better to do than bother me hang on a sec the steward himself sent me here to give you a hand wonderful I've been after him for months to get me some help and he sends me an armed ape you practice medicine I presume your tools seem rather barbaric are fine. That's not to say I don't get a little barbaric sometimes. Only sometimes. Or right. let me. I've already used them to do a little surgery on a few evil tongues, and nobody ever complained once. So be it. If you're as gifted as that, I guess I have nothing to lose. In fact, there is something that you could doubtless do for me. I'm worried about my assistant, Heyman. I haven't seen him for a while now, and I fear he might have gone into the swamps to look for the plants I need. All right. We're forced to venture further and further in to find the plants we need. With all that's been going on lately, I forbade him from going back out alone, but the boy is nothing if not stubborn. Uh, stubborn? Yeah, I hate people like that. Please find him. He's a good boy. He's done nothing but help others since he arrived. Without him, the House of Healing would be a house of death. If I'm gonna be slogging through the swamps anyway, might as well take a look around and try to bring back the plants you need too, right? You got any drawings or descriptions? Yes, that's a good idea. I would be grateful to you. But above all, try to bring back my assistant Heyman in one piece. He is your priority. 
All right. For the rest, basically, I need food, medicinal herbs, and of course, I wouldn't say no to a few pre-prepared potions. All of our stock seems to disappear so quickly. I'll give you the parchment that I made for Heyman to help you recognize the specimens I need. He knows them by heart now, after so many trips. Right. Plants, potions, chow, and one assistant. Uh, if I come across any elven tea, would you like a cup of that too? That would be lovely. Have you heard any rumors about a beast wandering around in the marshes? They are not rumors. There is something in these marshes, and I have a patient in a coma that confirms it. All right. Something? What does that mean? Where can I find it? I don't know exactly what it is. The wounds don't resemble anything seen around here before. What you seek is large, powerful, and obviously has enormous claws at its disposal. The wounded man was found west of the swamps, crawling towards the village. If you really wish to fall upon that beast, that would be a good place to start. But bear in mind the possibility that it may be the beast which falls upon you. All right. I'd like some information about the village and its inhabitants. So what do you think of the steward? Oh, don't get me started on that. Too late if you ask me. If I were you, I'd be wary of him. He is not as honorable as he would have you believe. Know that before the war, he was just a lackey, bowing and scraping before all the people of power that passed by. Due to a superior's mistake, he thinks he's in charge now. He's a latecomer, nothing but an opportunist, ready to do anything to keep his little piece of power. Uh -huh. I've had the misfortune of experiencing his sense of priorities. When he no longer has a use for you, he lets you know you're not welcome. I can't say I disagree with you there. This asshole treats everybody like his personal slaves. For the moment, he treats you well because you serve his needs. This might not always be true, and then your lives will be threatened. He'd go that far? I didn't found the House of Healing alone. It was with my husband, Ron. He was not a great warrior, nor a renowned strategist. His only gift was for healing. He was my teacher before becoming my husband. Oh, all right. The steward welcomed us with open arms. We took care of his men, his villagers. Then the refugees started arriving in greater numbers. Too many for Shambriad, who ended up closing the gates and pretending that these people simply didn't exist. Ron was furious. He tried to make him understand that he would heal everyone, no matter what. And if the self-proclaimed leader of the village wasn't capable of taking care of anyone other than himself, that he would do it. A few days later, I came back from the swamps to discover Ron in agony in the healing house. He had been poisoned. You think this was the work of the steward? Uh -huh. Who else would have reason to kill him? Everyone loved him and counted on him. Chambriad thought that without him, the healing house would close and that the number of refugees would diminish naturally. Unfortunately for him, I will continue my husband's good work even unto my dying breath. He gave me an even greater reason to keep going. Uh -huh. This healing house is a waste of time and resources. These people are but dead weight. Who are these refugees you're helping? They are the outcasts of the war. Those who didn't have the privilege of dying in combat, or who lack knowledge of the arts of the forge. No one wants them. If I don't help them, nobody will. Oh. Uh -huh. You're doing the right thing. Taking care of them is good for everybody's morale. The ones who do the fighting want to know they aren't doing it for nothing, and that their people won't be abandoned while they're gone. That is far from the only reason. But I'm very happy to hear you say it. What did you do before the war? Before the war? Please don't tell me you're naive enough to believe that this war only started ten years ago. That's what everybody says. I come from Shorolin. A faraway land in the north that the Ice Lords probably wiped off the map some time ago. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> because no one is left to write the history books other than a fanatical cult more interested in arcane magic than in human science or medicine. 
The fact remains that the war is far more ancient than that. For as long as I can remember, I have always known war. I was only just learning to walk when Marshal Winters invaded my homeland. I have heard of this Ice Lord. Winters the Bloodthirsty. I wandered along the main roads for years, always heading further south, staying just ahead of the advancing Dead Walkers, first with my sister and a family of neighbors, then just with my sister, then all alone, until the day I met the man who would become my husband, a remarkable elf who taught me how to heal and how to love and help those near me. But after years of fleeing, and ending up here in this isolated village so in need of healers, we decided to put down roots. Roan died eight months ago, leaving me alone and in charge of the house of healing that we had built together. Uh -huh. Let's talk about your healing house. I'm still looking for your assistant. Here? I seriously doubt that he's still here in the village. Please, I know that it's dangerous, but you'll have... I found you a few health potions. Ah, shit. I don't have enough yet. I'll take my leave. See you later. Seriously? Unless I miss my guess. What Let's talk about I found you with Here. I hope these will help cover your needs for a little while. They will prove very useful, I promise you. And thank you. Where could I find some food for you? Sadly, there isn't much choice. You have to go look for it in the swamps, unless you want to bargain for it with a steward. Perhaps he will be more generous with a mercenary than with a simple apothecary. I'll take my leave. See you later. Oh, I really need to collect this thing. Hmm. Do I have to spill it out? Or Would you just shut your stupid mouth for two seconds, please? The steward sent me here to help you. Oh, that's all I need. Don't he think I got enough on my plate? Now he sends me some more plate. Hey, as long as it ain't me is paying for you, hey? You want to help? Knock yourself out. But... Get to the point before I set your breath on fire. All right. All right, take it easy. No need to get nasty. Keep talking. Well, at first I thought maybe one of those halfwits was sleeping it off under a tree somewhere, but it's been a while. I guess I could go back and check. What a coincidence. After that, well, I suppose a pro like you, it won't be luxury. I don't know if you've seen what we're supposed to fight with, but, wow, if you can have a word with your quartermaster to see what he can do for the benediction of a drunk. That's what all us fucking mercenaries dream of. Right. We may be living in the arsehole of virtue, but being... And while you're at it, when you've been to the forge, you'll probably feel like letting off steam. What do you mean? Kick their arses so they can't sit down and get drunk instead of patrolling, and show them a couple of... Your men can't afford it. Knock yourself out, Payblade. Are you fucking kidding me?
wait for a minute I'm gonna explode their asses come here Time to go again while they're still warmed up. Why not? Let's go. defend themselves or are you up for giving them one last lesson one last lesson are you freaking kidding me I'm here. I don't have any ammo, what the heck Oh my god Oh yeah
Are you freaking kidding me? Oh yeah. I don't have any. Oh, uh, let's wait. Let's recycle something here. One day. All right. Pleasure. I like this way of saving lives. Leipzig tools. What the heck is that? Right, you, sir. Where is the captain anyway? To the mason first. So, you have returned. What is your desire? The steward said there was a beast attacking the villagers. This is what one hears, yes. Something is wandering through the swamps, devouring the reckless. The saddest part is that it's often the guards who end up lost. Along with their equipment. Meanwhile, we. Mm -hmm.
You got any of that famous elven bread that... Are you insane? Do I look like a baker? Just because you have pointy ears, everyone assumes you schlep around with an enormous... I'm afraid I don't. And let me All right. you in on a closely guarded secret among the elven people. Our bread is disgusting, but... Get that forge cooking. You've got work to do. I don't want to see so much as a dent in the garden. I don't even have enough materials to forge. What's more, I'm not really a blacksmith. So what is it you need? Everything you can possibly bring me. Metal, leather. I'll take a look around and see. I don't have a... All right. how you're pretty resourceful I figure you yes I should have guessed not at all listen I understand you might think I'm some kind of shark the problem is that I don't have any forge or equipment why not use the villain I tried that but that idiot the so-called artist that works there almost took my head no what I really need to work right is my equipment and at the other end of the swamp unfortunately I'll get it back for you you'll help me fix it. agreed on one condition of course let's see there aren't that many guards. Well, I hope... All right. There should be enough food. We'll see what Marana says when we get back to the healing house. These people are amateurs. This village is about as secure as your granny's underwear. I'll deal with this, Cap. Good. I'm Cap. Captain. Do you really think we should... Vulcan, I'm not going to try and make All this right. present. I get it, that after what happened in the temple, you'd like... But we are mercenaries, after all is said. And you know... Even if they did screw things up. Thanks to them, we all nearly bought. You have a point. And since we don't want to finish up as a pile of bodies under the snow. Do you think the cup? Of course. The blades have always. But to tell you the truth, we're not looking. And as for new recruits, most of us were rec If we're gonna hold as soon as we've recovered a bit, we'll break camp and head for the cup with a bit of luck. Alright. Why did we the red scribe and the so will heal our wound. Mm hmm Captain, just fought a duel with Ranvel, the guardian of the village. And before you start yelling about wasted energy, I want you to know that it was him that insisted on it. He's one hell of a fighter. He hits you like he was chopping down a tree, and he can take a blow and shake it off. Mm -hmm. I have the feeling that every new recruit I take on these days is headed straight for the cemetery. Bring him here to me. The villagers told me about... Hawk talked to me about that a while ago. He said he'd found some suspicious-looking tracks that... I'll go and follow the tracks. No idea. I sent him off to scout that path. I'm leaving. All right. I got those ingredients you wanted, and some... This is very generous of you. I prom... What is the point? Is the useless... Perfect. 
Then I can begin passing all the here. This is to thank you for your efforts. Thanks. All right. You got everything you need, I think. Thank you for your help. But don't fool yourself. With all of these refugees, I never have everything. I'll keep that in mind. I'd like to see what. Tinted blood. Hmm. All right. We're doing the side quest before we do the main quest. The night heard talk of a troubling event. Yeah, the short version is that I have a demon living. A demon? The night has never. Don't worry about it. The thing inside of me allows me to control fire. Evidently. But is there not a risk that. A risk? Not yet. It needs. Ranville, I need you. the night is pro No, not you. The mercenary. I talk with the captain. Come on. I need this girl <laughs> because this one can heal. Sybil. Yes. I need your help. If you want. Where's Rumble? Mercenaries. I talk with the camp. Come on. So he needs to join the group. Oh, hey. All right. Because all of my quests, um, I need to go outside. Welcome. I do. Captain, this is Ranville. He talks funny, but he can kick ass. So, it's Ranville, is it? That is the knight's name. How can he prove his valor to you? All righty then. I'm glad you warned me that he talks a bit funny. Right then, laddie. All you have to do is fight a duel with me. It will be an honor to fight with a man who they say has never been beaten. If you think you can flatter me into letting you off lightly, forget about it. The knight hopes that he will be the first to vanquish him. That's more like it. <sighs> we were starting to be seriously short of fighters worthy of the name, and you fight like a man. Vulcan, 
He's your recruit. You can Welcome to the Freeborn Blades, friend. All right. Don't take it so hard. The entry fight is a humiliation we all had to go through. Me included. <laughs> the captain deserves his post and his reputation. He is an exceptional warrior. After such a combat, the knight will need to rest for a moment. He asks that his friend and now brother come. Okay. All right. I need civil. Hmm. All guardian. Oh, okay. I need Colossus too. On Sapri with Sibyl. Show Sibyl the local phone. All right. Then I need to build. Oh, not. Yes. I need your help. If you want. All right. Where the hell is? Southern and Northern Park. This is the Southern. Holy shit. Are you freaking kidding me? This is the Southern Park. But, I'm going to end it here guys. Thank you everyone for watching this. I hope you have a good day.